is um in violet. Is the other professor his dad then? Okay. Now nothing can stand in my way. <laughs> It's a state thing for. Whoa, whoa, but that. Whoa. I see you're almost at the fifth base. Hold up inside there is Team Star's last remaining squad. You fought well to make it this far. Thank you, Reach. Reach! Kessia Poe, Pia. So, you made it as well, Clive. Of course, it's the last base. I wouldn't want to miss out on the action. Clive, I owe you my thanks. Your help has been invaluable to the operation. I'm sorry I was so weary of you at first. Well, that's all under the... Well, that's all water under the bridge. When we're finished with this base, will that be the end of Operation Starfall then? Not quite. We'll still need to handle Team Star's secret mastermind last of all. Do we have any leads on how to find him? I'm hoping they'll come out into the open once all the squad bosses have stepped down. I see. We've come so far. Only a few more steps left. Don't let me down, either of you. Cassio Cassiopeia's hung up. Alright. Thanks to you, Reg, I slowly but surely come to understand Team Star. I know what I need to do, and I know what my final decision will be. For that, I can't thank you enough. Take care in that base, Master Reach. Ah, sorry for getting all polite there. Don't know what came over me. See you later, Director. Okay, before I go out and do that, I need to, uh... Oh, Alright. You're pretty skilled. Not many trainers can shrug off my Pokemon's attacks like that. The same to you, Eerie, was it? Your Pokemon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves. But I'm surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gates. Don't you trust your grunts enough to put them on guard duty? Watch your mouth. I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all. What a benevolent boss. Now. If you want to get on with our battle, I'm already on my side. Who are you? Reach, there you are. I started talking to this girl since she looked like she was a, with Team Star. Then she and her Pokemon came to me without warning. We were just battling it out. Riri, I knew you'd be out here. Carmen, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, honestly. Now get away from here. It's not safe. I'll take over guarding the base, Riri. You should get back inside. No, I won't back down. I can't. Oh, Riri, you need to stop this. Until the big boss comes back, I have to protect all of you in the cuff squad. And everyone else in Team Star 2. That's why you should get back to the base and rest up, even just for a little bit. As the boss of this squad, I... I just can't. Riri, please, I'm your friend. Listen to what I'm saying. Fine, I'll go. I'm sorry, Carmen. Hey, that's no way to sign off. Let me hear a hasta la vista from you, nice and loud. Hasta la vista. See you later. I'm your opponent now, you two. Come on, I'll take you both down. 
Hey, Reach, my Pokemon, my Pokemon and I are actually running on empty after that last battle. Sorry to spring this on you, but do you think you can handle this grunt alone? Yeah. Thanks. I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. I'll protect Riri with everything I have. You ready to battle? I'm so ready. Then here I come. Rogant? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Kilowaterel is still asleep. Pokemon? Yeah. Scarlet and Violet is all of Yeah, it's a, it's a shiny. There we go. Again? Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Try me. Hello. Time to die. Oh, it looks like it's gonna survive. What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh no, Screech. Bye. Bye bye. We did it! I lost. But my defeat's not the one that matters. Even if all I did was buy Riri a bit of time, that's fine. My job here is done, so I'll help. So I'll head back inside. Hasta la vista! I take it you defeated the guard out, guard out front. That base is run by Team Star's fighting crew, the Cast Squad. Their boss, Eerie, is a skilled wrestler and coaches the whole of Team Star in Pokemon battling. Of all the bosses, she'll likely be the most alert to hostilities after our declaration of war. She might try to stop this raid in its tracks by, challenge you, by challenging you to battle before anyone else. You're spot on. I knew it. Tell me what happened. She retreated. We're talking about the same theory, right? Well, it seems there's nothing for it now but to attack the base head on. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the cast squad off the map. Alright, but first I'm, uh... I'm gonna go, uh... Alright, let's go! For even the smallest stars can light up the sky when they shine together as constellations. We're the last Bastion of Team Star. Losing isn't an option. Hey kid, you listening? You beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes? We'll call the boss out to deal with you. How's that for hospitality? Apparently. Hello, guys. Hey, how's it going? It's a race. No, it's a... It's a battle. Go! Go, my team! Go! More like the battles in Arceus or whatever? Uh, I wouldn't really do that. Grab Bonnet. 
God, this is really linear, unlike the other ones. Oh, goodness. That took a lot of damage from him. Am I the only one who hears Metroid music? I swear, it sounds so much like Metroid. Oh, come on, dude. Those tactic croaks are a uh, problem, aren't they? There we go. Get the crab bombing off. Oh crap. Hold on. There we go. Goodness gracious. King Gambit is not good. Oh, it's because it's he's dark. He's a dark type. I was not thinking was I guess. How are they, how are they gonna go with the lane? That's interesting. Oh wow. Um, hello? That was weird. Get him! On. Yeah, sometimes it just won't. Grab out the ball. You can do it. Last one. There we go. Whoo! I I don't think we can hold them off much longer, boss. Uh. Oh! Oh, this one's cool! Hello? Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't matter who you are, I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time, I won't run away. <laughs> Let's do this. Ah, Toxicro. This base is precious to us. I won't let this raid of yours go any further. I admire your confidence. Mm -hmm. Ow, that hurt. I give as good as I get, that's a promise. We'll see who's left standing in the end. Go. Annihilate. Whoa. Okay, so. Oh. Ghost fighting. Hmm. I don't know if this was a good idea. This wasn't a good idea. Um, uh, oh, 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 okay, okay, good, good, good. Come on. Ah, darn it. Oh, crap. I'm sorry, Miascarada. 
failed you. I failed you, son of a bitch. Okay. Huh. Why? Interesting. I don't know why I was doing it like that. What? Crap! No! No! God, why? No! Ah! Oh. oh, this is not going well now, guys. It is not going well. Alright, King Gambit. On. How fast is this thing? How fast is this thing? What the crap? How fast is Annihilate? Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do, guys. Oh my goodness, he's so fast. Thank you, Armor Rouge! Come on, beat him. Come on, get him down. Oh my gosh! Lucario. Fighting in steel. All right, now I leave. Come on, man. Fighting and steal. Come on. Come on. Oh, wait, what? Two more to go, guys. Woo! Passimian. Passimian. Oh, gosh, I've heard that before. Uh, I don't know. Fighting, fighting, fighting. I'm go. It has to be fighting, right? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. I can get one more hit in. Woo! <laughs> I'm sorry, Nightlight. I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, this is not going well, guys. two times oh god oh goodness uh but then we have the last one yep i i refuse to lose so please lend me your strength yeah i'm uh yep it's over guys it's over it's okay Yeah, and sorry, God of War.
Yes, please. Hello, hello, hello. I've come again. Doesn't matter who you are, glory. Anyone who tries to take down, take down. Yeah, yeah. We've heard that before, man. Come on. Rematch. This base is precious to us. I don't want the trade of yours. Go any further. Alright. I think we're at a better place than we were last time, right? Well, Gardevoir is gone soon. Oh, goodness. Uh... Oh! Thank you, Gardevoir! Oh! Gardevoir! Thank you! I, I know... Oh. oh wait, what? Oh Rouge is faster. Oh and he and he Oh wait, he's attacked too. Attack on him. Ah. Yep, yeah, okay. Alright. Good job, Mama Rouge. Oh, come on. I swear. everyone again about a year and a half ago I'm so sorry I think I went a little too far nah don't worry about it we're the ones who ask you to put us through some tough battle practice so we can drain up yeah but truly you need not apologize my lady Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift strides toward mastering the art of battle. And I could never have evolved my Pokemon without you, Eerie. Even the big boss said it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See, nothing but gratitude. To us, you're the brightest star in the whole team. <laughs> Come on, quit being silly. Um... Just one thing, we've been training for four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. 
Ah, I'm sorry. You all really should take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up. My lady, we four have each trained in our turn, but you, our steadfast mentor, have rested in not once. I cannot help but worry for thy help. Thank you for your concern, Atticus. But lately, I feel like I can take anything, even if I'm really tired or feel like crying. Remember that time we all got together and riffed on the gym badge designs to create our very own star badges? Well, I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Like, I want to give it my all. I gave my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You showed amazing strength. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I'd, I'd want you to have this. Thank you very much. I'd like to just I'd like to see you try out my trademark move, too. Here, this one's for you. Close combat! I know you're part of, part of Operation Starfall, but I could tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokemon look at you with, with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just really. <laughs> Looks like it's all over. Oh, Riri. This is the team star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. So, what did you want to ask me? You seem to be on much friendlier term terms with Eerie compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that? Well, alright, I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Eerie. She's an amazing trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty too. It took her no time at all to become popular at the academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess, you started to pick on her? Pretty much. I got our classmates to join in, too. We were all so stupid. But in the end, kids are always fickle. And once one thrill wears off, they look for something new. But before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it, but then Riri, she chose to help me even though I'd been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side. She invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that. What a kind girl. She really is. Joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun? There are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Ah, uh, no. I'm merely... Riri and the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. Please, don't take away our greatest treasure. Oh boy. Reach, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Eerie's star badge? Without its boss, the calf squad should be a hair's breadth from this bandit. So Eerie was the last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should soon be back attending classes at the academy. 
Nice work out there, Reach. Is that Clive I hear? Cassiopeia. Well done to you, too. Thanks. Now about your reward, Reach. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hmm? Oh, that reminds me. I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed. You can go ahead and give Reach his bonus reward now. <laughs> At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. Where's the big boss? Don't worry. We have no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is none other than me. Yep, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long. But the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star back then. The members of the team were my closest friends. And I treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up. So, I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Reach. I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clark. Understood. Then I'll see you both there. Yep. So, Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time? I scarcely thought it possible. But with this revelation, I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the Academy schoolyard. Let's prepare as best as we can before heading over. Yeah, kind of started to become obvious. Hello, hello. Okay, before I do anything else, save. Oh, it's blue this time. Hello, Google. Nonetheless, we got a shiny gun sparse. No, 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 I did not. I just keep accidentally getting full odd shinies. Was that in a chunk dead? 
Arvin? Seriously? You beat me here? Uh... You must be very slow then. Well, this is the lab. I used to come here to play all the time when I was a kid. There'd better be a good reason for calling us here like this. Let's find out. Let's go! Everyone always says she's some kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My mom, that is. Let me tell you, as a parent, she's the worst. All she ever does is work. She never comes home. I don't have a single memory of her ever. I don't have a single memory of her ever even playing with me. Her own kid. Mabel Stiff's the only one who was there for me. Always. Anyway, it's open now. Go on in. Arvin, stay with us. I just want to get this over with. Hello, Professor? Empty. Uh, oh. Hey, sir. I need your help. I'm currently at the deepest point of Area Zero, in the Great Cater of Paldia. I've been researching the unique Pokemon here for a very long time. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Sada's glorious research. The final step? There's something we need first. Something that can be found within that lab. What we need is the Scarlet Book. Oh, no way! Wait, do you mean this book? Ah, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? This expedites... that... this expedites? Or expedites things? <laughs> I don't know. Bring the Scarlet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that will be an experience worth treasuring if you come. Okay, Professor. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. Seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You may take the time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you feel the need. I'll be awaiting you in the deepest part of Area Zero whenever you arrive. Hmm. Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that Mabostiff got wounded in the first place. Down in the great crater of Paldia. In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy happy to never see that place again. Are you gonna go? Of course I'm going to go. I suppose she did ask. I can't just stand by and watch while a friend heads off into danger on his own. Thanks, Arvin. So I guess I'm going too. Besides, I'd love to give Mom a piece of my mind. 
All right, then, Reach. Outside. We're going to have a Pokemon battle to see if we're... Johnny Arvin. Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. Oh, boy. Well, let's go. I'm ready, Arvin. All right, you ready for a battle reach? Yeah. Excellent. You're ready too. You're ready too, right, Mabo Stiff? <laughs> yep, Mabo Stiff says he's ready. Are you sure about this? Okay, yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. But my buddy here is bursting with energy. You never know he was so weak just a little while ago. Won't leave me alone. Always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long I nearly forgot, but he always did love to battle. Even if we, even if we always lost to that student council girl, the battle fantastic, the battle fanatic won. Anyway, my point is there's no. Anyway, my point is, there's no need to worry. We're brand new Arvin and Mavostis, and we're feeling audacious. Or maybe... Herbaceous. Herbaceous. Okay. Let me give you a taste of what we can do. Alright, alright. Three dots. The Pokemon that I met during our hunt for the Hermit Mystica are all stars. Every one of them. Oh, he's got a full team, guys. Come on, Miascara. Body slam. Go! Greedot is defeated. Gavillion! Grass fire. Grass fire, grass fire. Grass fire. That's not a good choice. Mm. Ooh. All right, annihilate. Oh, gunk shot. No. Then headbutt. Are you kidding me? Come on. That's stupid. Stupid. Hold up, guys. It's 80. There we go. Goodness gracious. Toad scroll. Toad scroll. Sounds like a water type. Right, guys? Yaskarada. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay. Yes! Gargan Soul. 
Sounds like a poison type. Just the garb. That that's that's what I can think of, guys. Oh, it's rock type. Oh, is that the evolution of that one fish? Hey, hey man. Okay. Stealth rock. Oh no. Ah oh, crap. Oh. Oh. All right. Let's go. We got, uh, do we only have Ma Mano Stein left? Oh, Cloyster. Cloyster. <laughs> Let's go, Miasperado. Let's destroy him. Hello, Cloyster. How you doing? Bye bye, Cloyster. Bye bye. Okay, now, yep, Mavostar. Mavostiff. Goodness. Let's go, Gardevoir. You see, look at that smile. Oh, stupid stones. Let's celebrate your full recovery with the glow. Time to trap the live Mavel Stiff. I keep, I, I, I can't believe, I keep forgetting about terrestrialization, guys. I'm not even joking. No way. Let's go, Gardevoir! Ah, it wasn't enough. That's okay. But nobody was there. All right. You can do this, Miasperata. Oh? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, let's go! Oh, stupid stones. And it's over! Bye-bye! Nice try, Arvin. And I'm too good! We were so close, Mavro Stiff. So close. But, Rage. Thanks, little buddy. You're welcome, Marvin. Ooh! 12k! Dang. This is the strength of someone who could take down those Titan Pokemon, huh? Yeah, much as I hate to admit it, I do think we're gonna need some more support. The Pokemon in Area Zero are super strong. And there are all sorts of weird machines there, too. I'd say we need at least two more people. Somebody with some champion rank level skills. And somebody who can deal with crazy tech. Ooh, maybe Penny! Huh? Never knew we had someone all tech savvy like that at school. But I doubt someone with those skills would bother helping us out unless she owed us. Or at least liked us. 
But, well, we've got to do what we've got to do. Whoever you think could be help, just try getting in good with them. We'll see if we can't get a team together. Get in touch if you make progress. I'll do the same. Path of Legends. Complete? What? Complete? Well, we haven't finished it yet. Hello, Clive. Quote unquote. Come on, I know it's you, Director. Sup, Reach? Director Claymore? Oh, come on, the name's Clive, remember? Actually, no. Time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Oh, who could he be? Aha! I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive, it was none other than the director of Norton Shell Academy. Mr. Clayville. I already knew that. What? But my disguise was perfect! Although, now that I think about it, I did neglect to keep up my useful act on few occasions. That must have been what gave me away. Regardless, regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. Nah, I don't believe that. Honest to goodness. When you heard Cass... He is covering for the actual person, guys. When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. Mm-mm. I don't believe it. One second. I pulled it off using, er, uh, you know, one of those... High-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it was very clever. So, Master Reach, now you know I'm the big boss. That means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Oh, ho, 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 I know he's not, he's not, he, I don't believe it. Rangoru. Oh, wait, I didn't heal. I am Kesopia of Team Star with this battle. Oh. Reflect. Mascarada. Rude. Darn it! Yep. A bomb of snow. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Director. Pokemon. Oh. Hello. Yeah. So, uh, quiet hours. So. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, it, the sound's good. Just if you can, just quiet down a little bit. Quiet down. Yeah. Right. Thanks. Yeah. And you can.
I just can't record the Director Clevel, this this guy right here is trying to say that he is um he's this dude that's been behind the phone mm -hmm. talk telling me to, to be Team Star. I don't believe him. And I kind of think it might be uh this shy girl named Penny. Ooh. Because she's good with high tech stuff and the person was able to hack my phone. She was someone no one will see. And the thing is, the person on the phone was the boss of Team Star. Uh -huh. Team Star has never seen them before, so... I think, I think you're on to something, Jack. Have a good night. Good night. Okay. Right. Ah. Uh, oh! Pol Pol Poltergeist! That's definitely a ghost, so... I got this dark type moon. Hello. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, okay, good. Worries are over. <laughs> Mm. Can I do a lot? Moongus. Oh goodness. Guys, be quiet. Shh, don't. Mm. Poison type, so. Yeah, I know fairy is weak, but psychic is good okay. against it. So. Hello, Mungus. Bye bye, Mungus. Oh! Oh, it must be very bulky then. I did not know that. Please stop. <laughs> All right, one more Pokemon, guys. <laughs> That's no point here for a while. <gasps> Just like how Leon had it. Skeledurge. So, let me think. Skeledurge is a fire ghost. Fire ghost. Mm, I'm gonna have to. You gonna have to take the chance. <laughs> to think that I, Cassiopeia, would be backed into a corner like this. Oh my gosh, stop covering for whoever Cassiopeia is, and I think I kinda figured it out. Very well. It seems I shall have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. No, it's just gonna be fire, right? Mmm, that's actually gonna be a problem. That's actually gonna be a problem. Hey. Oh, look at that alligator. The director's trying to say that he's been the person behind the phone, but I don't believe him. The alligator's been the person behind no, the phone? No, the director behind the alligator. Oh. I don't believe it, though. Mm, yep, I was scared it would be super effective. Are you kidding me? I really did a thing. Okay. Well, crud. I guess ghost type isn't very effective against... Um, dark is good against ghost. 
Is that a ghost that you're fighting? It's a fire ghost type. Hmm. Mm, that'd be really risky. Mm, dude. Good luck, have fun. Yep, you too. All right, Armor Rouge, can you finish this off? All right. Okay, okay. Decent. No, not terrible. Slowly but surely, he's taking out my guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm dying, Carnivore! Goodness gracious, his... Come on, Kilowatt. Oh, finish it off. Man, this thing is bulky. But we got it. Woo! That was close. Ha! Huh. Good job, team. Good job. Oh. How strong you have grown. Thank you, director. Well now, Master Reach, it seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. I thought so. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. But I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. Which is why I thought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see through it. I do not imagine any ordinary stu student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenged you to a battle to test your strength, your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out, you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shames me to be to burden one of my students with such, with such a task. But please, defeat Cassiopeia, take on the big boss of Team Star, and win. Yes, sir. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. You there, what do you think you're doing? Ah, Miss Time, a pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I come here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Ah, uh, no, if I could just explain. You see, it is a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me. Your excuses reek worse than a stunky's behind. A stunky's behind? Ahem. <clears throat> Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I am counting on you, Master Reach. You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once, and I'll and I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board, make no mistake. Good gracious, no. It's anything but that. I implore you. <laughs> See you later, director. Gotta heal up first. The schoolyard.
read. It is. It's Penny. Thanks for coming. It's Penny. What? Wow. <laughs> this must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassiopeia. They were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit. And I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Heck yeah. Thanks. Oh, Director, sorry to keep you. The letter of apology this time had it, er, I mean, preparations took longer than expected. That voice, are you Clive? Penny, so it was you after, ah, uh, no, I mean, is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh, I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, we'll do. <laughs> oh, get ready, guys. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No, Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Dude. Oh my gosh. Penny of Team Star. I'm gonna um, my favorite English machine. I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Come on. Come on. That's not gonna do much. <laughs> Come on, yes, Let's go. <laughs> God, I'm so excited. Oh wait, is it gonna? She gonna have? Vitia. She's gonna have all the EV. I love that. I love that so much. She's gonna have all the EV illusion guys. Well, six of. There's. There, there's seven of them. I think there's seven of them, so she's gonna leave one out. Lithia. Oh. Is Lithion faster, or... It doesn't matter. They pour it on. Water, 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 water. Kill you, Watrell. Let's go. Guys, oh my gosh, I am. Oh, not gonna be much. Oh! Oh crap! That did a lot more than I thought it was gonna do. Let's go, guys! I was destroying it! Probably because my Pokemon are a. Uh... Flareon. Fire, fire, fire. What's good against. I don't think I have anything else against this good unless 
Mm, I don't know. Let's just let's just try. I think ground is getting in fire. I can't remember though. Come on, annihilate! Come on. Okay. Yep. Super effective. <laughs> Jolteon. Jolteon, Jolteon. So, electric. What's good against electric? I don't think... Ground. Ground, right? Yeah. Unless if it's just rock, but I makes I think wouldn't it make sense for it to be both? Oh my goodness, another baby doll dies. Okay, yep. There we go. Okay, good job, Annihilate. Good job. That's my boy. That's my boy. See you later, Jolteon. Sylveon, fairy type. Oh, ho, ho. fairy type. Let's finish this. King Gambit, I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. No wonder the bosses fell at your hands. Hello, Sylveon. Time to trust a light. Shine bright like the starry sky and become who you really want to be. <laughs> My VB power will crush you into stardust. Oh, Sylveon, just go for it. Oh, that did not do as much as I was hoping. Yeah, and I can't. Oh, gosh. What? She's gonna be able to go first, I think, but let's try it anyways. Who knows? Maybe she'll do baby doll eyes. Oh, that was the dark type. Okay, that makes sense. I'm not gonna lie, that does look pretty cool. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, King Gambit. Me up, Garada. Let's finish this. <gasps> no! No, 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 please, 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 please! I want to finish it off with my starter! No! Oh, I thought that was gonna be a mess. Alright, alright, alright. I'll finish it off with Gardevoir. Bye bye, Sylveon. Nice job, team. It's all over now. 15k? Holy crap, Penny.
finally over, guys. It's done. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything has gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happened when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their ter tyrannous op oppression. Twas a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our, our, our outfits must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down. And then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plans backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stunt might have put up us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind big boss. You cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah, and what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is, thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why were you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Prithay, speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, Big Boss, answer us! Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything, Reach. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star. And me too. Hold that thought, Miss ah, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? My resort to something like Operation Starfall, if you are the big boss of Team Star. Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So, it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them. Even leave the team? Yes. And according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Thus, the idea of Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star No. What do your friends in the team mean to you? They're... They're my greatest treasure. Splendid. Thank you for apprising me. Of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Ah. <sighs> Director Clavel? Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But, but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers, after all. 
Much more so when faced with the director of the Academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. <laughs> um, well, that's quite enough for that. Of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Uh-oh. Yo, big boss. Long time no see. Oh, mom. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Nelly. Verily is thy long hidden countenance a sight for sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny. How have you been this whole time? Already. We found you at last. You have no idea how worried we've been. Eerie. Okay, gang, on the count of three. One, two. Hasta la vista, Cassiopeia. And hello, Penny. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest, sincerest apologies. Come again? As director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't, I mean, why? You've all told me about your reason for forming Team Star, and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blessed free from bullying. I now know that this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and, of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. And so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. That me why I think it means. Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist, should that be your wish. Whoa, Penny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, my, my heart is giddy with glee. But, but, I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clable told us all about it. As far as we heard, you only went through, through, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever check the team just because someone told us to after all. Ain't our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so... Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardized driving of Pokemon-powered vehicles. Yet I go on, your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Thus, as punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes, specifically, I will be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for the Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Reach battling his way through your bases. The base's construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. 
I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth, as STC state staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Um, no? Sounds like fun. So I don't see how this be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say since it's STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true. We would most happily have you at our side, little lady. We can go to school together too. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We were already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This be a sweet deal for us. So, what do you say? Do you guys... Reach, what do you think? Give it your best. Uh, but, but, um, I just... No need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least. I think our little group should go their separate ways. Ah, not to say you should break up Team Star after all. I, meant, I simply meant it is time to leave. Master Reach. Please stop by my office later if you need. I sure will.